have already subscribed to my channel. Thanks so much. So today I am going to make a sorrel drink, Jamaican sorrel drink. And I will not be using any alcohol in this um, drink. So I'll be using cinnamon leaves and a stick, okay, and a couple grains of, um, of pimento seeds that will help to preserve and some rice grain, okay? Also, I'm gonna be using ginger. My ginger was in the freezer, that's why it's like this, so I am going to blend, okay? ginger I get more of the juice from it okay okay so the ginger the sorrel I have here it's almost five cups and I have to say that this sorrel came from my garden so I already washed when it was freshly cut and I put it to dry on the flat area but I'm still going to rinse just you know in case any dust is on it okay so i'm going to take it to the sink not too much washing because i don't want to wash the color up because we want to maintain that nice red color or burgundy whatever it is okay that's enough okay okay guys so like i told you i have pretty close to five cups of sorrel and in my pot it's 25 cups of water okay and i like to taste my ginger so i put a good amount of ginger in here and my water is boiling this is some hot water i'm just gonna use it to rinse to rinse this out so i don't want to waste anything Okay, I'm gonna grab one of my wooden spoons. I'm gonna rinse my spoon. Okay, so now I am going to pour my pimentos in. I'm putting in a cinnamon stick and some cinnamon leaves. Now I'm going to pour my sorrel in. I'm going to stir a little bit. And then I'm going to let this boil for about five minutes. Just let it boil up a little bit because it's not boiling right now since I'm putting in this stuff in there. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to cover it for a little bit and I'll be right back. When it's done in five minutes. Okay, guys, I had this um, boiling for about five minutes. And we can see how all the pulps are swollen now. And I'm using a white spoon so you can see the color. Okay, and I am going to let this seep for the night, which will be 
12 hours. I can also let it stay for 24 hours, but at least it's gonna be overnight, more than 12 hours. And I will see you then. Okay guys, so it's been 16 hours since my soil has been brewing, okay? So now I am going to strain it off. And you can see it has a nice red color. Also has a very nice smell. Okay, so I'm going to strain. Okay, so I'm straining in my calendar and now I'm going to take it over here to strain it in my strainer and a cheesecloth. I'm using my cheesecloth to make sure that um, I get all the debris, if there is any. Of course, I can wash this cheesecloth because I know it's stained now, but I'll use some Clorox to clean it up. Okay, guys, so this is the pulp of the sorrel. And these are my cinnamon leaves. In here, I have the pimento seeds also. And it gives it a very nice smell. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to strain the rest of my soil. Okay, this is what I got from it. Well, this is just a little because I poured out the first one already. You wanna make sure that you strain your drink nicely. Okay. Okay. And now I am gonna take my sieve out, rinse my spoon. This has a very nice rich color. Okay, so for my sorrel drink, I am not going to put any liquor, as I said before, and I am going to sweeten a portion and unsweetened a portion, okay? Guys, so I am finished straining my drink, and this, I'm gonna put some rice grains in here, Okay. And remember, there's no alcohol in this. And I'm going to strain, not strain, I'm going to pour this drink over here. Using a funnel.
I normally let this sit for a long, long, long time. As long as I would like it. And it just sits in there. Okay, so now I'm going to sweeten this amount and I'm using two third cups of sugar. to be too sweet. Okay, I can taste the ginger. I can taste the ginger. I'm putting in just about a quarter cup more of sugar. Okay, this is good for me. I do not want it to be too sweet. Okay. Okay, guys, so here I have um, a few of my sorry that I got from outside, just to show you, just in case you are not accustomed to sorry. These are some leaves I have here. And if you Google sorry, hibiscus, roselle, whatever name you know it as, you will find that there are a lot of benefits in the leaves and the flowers, okay? So this is a Jamaican drink that we use for Christmas, but I want to also say it is not just a drink, it's medicine for your body, okay? And here is my glass of drink. Okay, thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to like, share, 